Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and for this video I'm going to be talking about some really pertinent information that was given to us during the last dev livestream. Now this stuff is uh, applies for both people who are inter uh, interested in discounts in terms of before Knights of, the Fall Knights of the Eternal Throne hits and also afterward. So let's start with before. Now guys, right now collection unlocks are on 50% off so if you want to unlock anything in your collections do it now. I personally have some things left over because I opened up a ton of force bound dark versus light packs because I completed the event and I have some things in there that I'd like to unlock in my collections like the volatile conquer saber, the white crystal and um, and now is a great time to do that kind of stuff because I'm going to be paying 50% less cartel coins. If you are looking for cartel coins I have a link in my description which will take you to a video about how to make thousands of cartel coins for free. Um, you can check out that video, it should help you because from the feedback I've gotten it's helped a ton of other people. I personally don't ever pay for a cartel coin, I just kind of use those, trips and, uh, those tips and then um, I'm able to you know, get enough to usually unlock stuff in my collections. The second thing is we're getting tons of new cartel market sales. So on Friday, all armor sets on the cartel market will be 50% off aside from the Nathema Zealots. So since that was a new armor set just released, I guess they didn't want to do this amazing sale on that one, which is understandable, but all of the other armor sets are going to be 50% off. That's going to be pretty awesome because there are some really, really nice armor sets. I'm personally, I have my mind on that a stalwart commando armor set. I'm probably going to pick that up. I haven't ever actually unlocked that one, but now it's going to be 50% off. So now is the time to do it on Saturday. 50% off all decorations on the cartel market. On Sunday, 50% off all of the appearance, customizations, and species. And on Monday, 50% off all the mounts, vehicle, toys, and mini pets. So basically, before Knights of the Eternal Throne launches, we'll have some really, really epic sales on the cartel market. So definitely take advantage of those if you've ever been looking to try to pick something off of there, because now's gonna be the time to do it. 50% off is probably one of the better sales you'll ever see on the cartel market. And I believe the collections unlock of 50% off will carry out through uh, until Knights of the Eternal Throne hits. So for example, now's a really good time to maybe buy something off of the cartel market and then unlock it in your collections because all of that stuff is just 50% off. And the final thing I want to quickly talk about in this video are reduced character transfers. Now for those of you guys who are stuck on dead servers, it's been a huge problem within the community because there are tons of people saying they're stuck on dead servers, they're not willing to pay money for cartel coins in order to transfer all of their characters, which is understandable because right now character transfers cost 1000 cartel coins. And if someone has 10 tunes, that's 10,000 cartel coins, it's a ton of money. But starting from November 29th, which is launch of patch 5.0, all the way until January 18th, Character transfers will cost 90 cartel coins. That is a huge discount and that is not uncommon. Bioware has done this numerous times in the past and now they're giving you one last chance to do this. If you're on a dead server, character transfers will, starting from patch 5.0, character transfers will cost 90 cartel coins. So now is the time to get off those dead servers and get on a good server. Once again, I do have a link in the description to a video which should help you get these, those many cartel coins absolutely for free. Then you can use it to transfer your tunes. Um, it will cost 150 cartel coins for a cross-regional transfer. So if you want to transfer from a European server, let's say, to a North American server, that will cost you a little bit more. It'll cost you 150 cartel coins. Nonetheless, these are crazy low discounts. Use them if you're on a dead server. I personally will be using them because uh, I like to play around with dis different servers, selling on the GTN and stuff. It's actually a really good way to make a quick buck. I have some videos of that on my channel. Those might be outdated. I might make a new one because um, this sale is going to be going on for about one and a half months. It's a lot of time to maybe play the GTN a little bit on different servers. But nonetheless, that's a topic for a totally different video. The point is, these are going on character transfer discounts. And, um, and I'm not sure when these will come back. A lot of people in the community had to ask for it continually in order for Bioware to finally do this one more time. So I'm not sure if they're, it might take them another year to do a discount like this for character transfers again. So now is the time to really get off those dead servers. And yeah, those are kind of the pertinent announcements I wanted to make because those are some of the more important stuff to talk about. Uh, nice of the Eternal Throne is going to hit soon. It's only it's in less than a week now. And these are some of the new things that we're going to be getting before that hits. And obviously after patch 5.0, we'll have that discount on character transfers. The last thing I'll, I'll quickly throw in here to maybe get some of you guys excited is Wampa Companion was confirmed in the dev live stream. But for those of you guys who have been keeping tuned with my videos, you already know that I got you covered. You know, I might be wrong about 80% of the stuff I speculate about, but sometimes I get it right on the 20%. And um, I had, uh, it was data mined earlier that a Wampa Companion was going to be released for Life Day, and now it was finally confirmed during the dev live stream. So that's pretty cool. I'll end the video now. It's getting a little bit longer than I anticipated. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it informative. I'll see you in the next one.